Hey everybody, welcome back to G-Man's Fishing Adventures. Out here on Bud, it's the uh, 15th of January, my MLK day. And on a school of crappie so far. I, uh, I'm gonna let this one go before he freezes. And uh, I actually forgot my bait at home, so, and Summers doesn't open till 3.15. So right now I'm uh, just fishing with the night crawlers I could get at Baumgars, so. Getting a couple crappies, finally found a school of fish, and uh, we'll see if we can catch some more. Checking though. All right, we're on the north side of Bud Lake. Get some of my stuff out of there. Get that out. Let's see what we got for depth. Seven inches. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's seven inches out here, and then a, a little bit of crust on top. So had ten at the boat ramp or at the uh, water treatment plant. So good ice. for hole hopping but I'm having fun. There it is. Okay, oh this is a yellow bass. Well maybe we bet that brought him in. That little crappy action. Like I said, using a pilkey. I just got a little chunk of night crawler because quite frankly they're freezing faster than I can put them on. So just thawing a little bit out, make it look like a spike or a, a wiggler right now and it's somewhat working. Fish are moving, that's a good sign. Nice crappie. Thought I was on a school of yellow bass, but I guess we'll see. You can go back. Well, there's another yellow bass. Uh, the GoPro said negative 20 wind chill is, is too much for it. But you can see there, I got a pretty good school. Northeast corner of Bud, if anyone's paying attention. Another beautiful crappie on uh, frozen night crawlers now. Time to get back before you freeze. Another crappie on frozen night crawler. It's clear that uh, Fairmont's got a good population of those boys to this year. Hi everyone. Uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed that uh, again short video. I was out hole hopping for about an hour and a half. You know, negative 20 wind chill, negative three actual temperature, uh, 15 mile an hour winds at. Uh, I would have stayed out there, but I couldn't even thaw my bait out anymore to put it on. So, um, stopped at the bait shop, got some, got some spikes for next time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, generally the ice conditions were seven to 10 inches. 
10 inches closer to shore when I first got on the ice, seven out in the out in the main part of the lake. So, you know, it's still early. Uh, conditions vary, but Bud Lake's looking pretty good for the weekend, especially we have some, some cold weather still coming in. So um, appreciate everyone watching. Uh, give us a like and, a, and subscribe if you haven't. We're really close to 2,000 subscribers, and uh, we may have to discuss something cool to to do then, but uh, it'll probably be when we get back uh, from our trip. So, anyways, appreciate you guys watching, and uh, hope you guys get out there if you want some spots. Uh, most of the holes I fished today didn't have any fish in them uh, until the last hole. I had one mark total. Uh, it was 16 foot of water out on the north side of the lake. Happy to happy to guide you to that spot. Um, you know, it's 50-50, crappies and yellow bass. If I would have had bait and a shack, I probably could have filled a bucket of yellow bass and thrown back, you know, have a bucket of, of crappies as well. So they were aggressive. Um, it just wasn't the right conditions to, to fish too hard. So, again, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, catch you on the next one. And after being in the cab of the truck all, <clears throat> all the way home, about 35 minutes, and high heat, they're... Still pretty frozen. <laughs> oh well, we'll get them thawed out and clean them up. Yes, sir. Fresh yellow bass. Cannot beat it. Mm.